competitor to be please be ready to go once we have our competitor cross the show timeline if you're next please be ready so we can roll through quickly today we've got about 10 herds in total this is herd number four so right now the bubble's sitting at 414 right now for the top 20 414 is the bubble so we're going to get set for deborah hinton's going to be first to go from tamworth number 43 on the draw rock and cd owned by deb hinton be our first one to cross the showtime line and herd number four. So this one side by Highbrow CD out of Bridget Bar Dock was bred by Deb Hinton. Be our first one to cross the showtime line. So good luck to Deb. And then we have Leanne Moran, Michael Hawk, and Joanne Danunsky. So that'll be our first four to show. Here in herd number four of the non-pro classic challenge brought to us by friends at the Sunkiss Quarter Horse Stud. They're all aiming to be back in that finals tomorrow, which will be the top 20 will make it back in this event. So good luck to our competitors in herd number four. So Deb Hinton, number 43 on the draw, Rock and CD. To start things off in herd number four. Thank you very much there, Deb. That was Deb Hinton from Tamworth, New South Wales. That was number 43 on the draw, Rock and CD, owned by Deb Hinton. So that was side by Highbrow CD out of Bridget Bar Dock. So our next four have Leanne Moran, then Michael Hawk, Joanne Dodunsky, then Damien Kenny. So 180 there for Deb, 180. So that'll be a total of 388 over the two rounds, 388. So we'll now move to Leanne Moran from Loxley, Victoria, number 44 on the draw. This is Driving Miss Royal, owned by the TriStar Quarter Horse Stun. So Driving Miss Royal is the name of this one. Side by one-time royalty at Elizabeth Drive and was bred by the SDM Quarter Horses in Gundawindi. 
So good luck to Leanne. single word is true and I think you need to know so use it as a bookmark stick it on your refrigerator door hang it in a picture frame up above the mantle where you'll see it for sure maybe write this down take a little note to remind you in case you didn't I love you and I don't want you to go Write this down Take my words and read them every day Keep them close by Thank you there, Leanne. That was Leanne Moran from Loxley, Victoria. That was number 44 on the draw, Driving Miss Royal, owned by the TriStar Quarter Horse Stud. So that was signed by one-time royalty at Elizabeth Drive. So our next four, we'll see Michael Hawk, Joanne Dodunsky, then we'll have Damien Kenny, then Jason Blanchett. So 209 there for Leanne, 209. So that'll give her a total of 423 over the two rounds, 423. So they'll move the bubble up to 416 now for the top 20. So we'll now move to Michael Hawk from Canberra, number 45 on the draw. This is ISO Smooth, owned by Michael Hawk. This one side by Smooth as a cat out of raving reviews was bred by Aaron and Lindsay Wheatley in Karimba, Victoria.
Thank you very much, sir. Michael, that was Michael Hawk from Canberra, New South Wales. Number 45 on the draw, that was ISO Smooth, owned by Michael Hawk. So that was side by Smooth as a Cat out of Raving Reviews. Thank you very much to Gigi Eyewear. Gigi Eyewear was founded on feel, practicality, function and affordability. Sunglasses that stack up to the harsh conditions of rural Australia. Check out their website at www.gigieyes.com. So 191 there for Michael, 191. So that'll be a total of 396 over the two rounds, 396. So we'll move to Joanne Dudunsky, number 46 on the draw. This is playing a heavy metal owned by Joanne. So playing heavy metal is the name of this one. Side by heavy metal out of a stylish little gem and was bred by Joe. The star can't burn forever, and the brightest ones will someday lose their shine. But the glass won't ever be half empty in my optimistic mind. Thank you very much, Sir Joanne. That was Joanne Dudunsky right there. That was number 46 in the draw, playing heavy metal, owned by Joanne. So that one's side by heavy metal at a stylish little gem. Thank you very much to Cinch. Make sure you follow Cinch Australia on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Cinch products are cultivated for the hard work and dedication we've all involved. Cinch strives to offer quality, stylish attire that is a great fit today. Nine there for Joanne, one eight nine on that one, so there'll be a total of three ninety seven over the two rounds. Three hundred ninety seven over the two rounds. So we're going to move to Bow Desert, number forty seven on the draw. Damien Kenny. This is a, she's a steel badger owned by Victoria Acton. So next one to go right now. She's a steel badger. Side by heavy metal at a Kunamara Chisholm Badger was bred by Ben Loads. Good luck to Damien.
was Damien Kenny. That was from Bow Desert Competitor. She's a steel badger owned by Victoria Acton. Did leave working area before time, so will be a zero. So that was side by Heavy Metal out of Coonamara Chisholm Badgers. So that'll be a total of 202 over the two rounds there for Damien. 202. So we'll now move to Jason Blanchett. It's going to be next to go. Spinster's Playboy owned by Jason Blanchett. So this one side by Juice Lena out of Spinster's Tribute was bred by Eva Hartman. So good luck to Jason right now. Next competitor today, thank you very much to Double J Quarter Horses where Mayor Powell Matters, based in Capunda, South Australia, we pride ourselves on producing quality quarter horses for the cow horse industry. Get in touch with our agents, Lincoln Brat or Dean Holden today and find out what stock we have available for sale. Glued on Jason Blanchett, number 48 on the draw. They're cutting fans. This is in the third, number four. So each and every one of our competitors can be please be ready to go once we so we can run nice and smoothly today. That'll be greatly appreciated. So please be ready. Thank you very much, said Jason. That was Jason Blanchard, number 48 on the draw. That was Spinster's Playboy, owned by Jason Blanchard. So that was signed by Juice Lena out of Spinster's Tribute. So next to go, we'll have Denise Milgate, Michaela O'Haran, Rachel Leach, then Renee Richardson. That'll be our next four. So 195 there for Jason, 195. So that'll be a total of 395 over the two rounds. So we'll move to Denise Milgate from Felton, South Queensland. Number 49 on the draw. This is Metallic Jewel, owned by David Heath. This one's side by Metallic Cat out of Tia Jewel Ray and was bred by David Heath. Hadn't 
Thank you very much there, Denise. That was Denise Milgate from Felton South, number 49 on the draw, Metallic Jewel, owned by David Heath. So that was side by Metallic Cat at a Tia Jewel Ray. So next to go, we'll have Michaela O'Haran, then Rachel Leach, Renee Richardson, then Lisa Hindmarsh. That'll be our next four to show. Thank you very much to Agrimix. Agrimix is an independent Australian owned and family operated agricultural technology company. It's in contact Rod Lenke on 0428 288 311. So 197 there for Denise, 197. So that was total of 380 over the two rounds, 380 over the two rounds. So we'll move to Michaela O'Haran from Scone, New South Wales, number 50 on the draw, Chisholm's Boyd, owned by Mrs. Katrina O'Haran. So Chisholm's Boyd, the name of this one. This one side by R.S. Chisholm and a Kunamara Pepiana was spread by Kim Lansdowne.
Thank you very much there, Ke- Michaela. That was Michaela O'Halloran from Scone, New South Wales. That was Chisholm's Boyd, owned by Katrina O'Halloran. So Chisholm's Boyd was signed by RS Chisholm out of Coonamara, Pepe, Anna. So Agrimix is an independent Australian-owned and family-operated agricultural technology company. We treat our customers as family. Your paddock is our office. Since 2008, we've been working with producers to find solutions to pasture productivity that are evidence-based, practical and scalable. So 211 with a review there for Michaela. 211, so unofficially will be 428 over the two rounds. 428. So we're going to move to Rachel Leach, number 51 on the draw from Springshaw. This is Slivering, owned by Mrs. Rachel Leach. This one's side by Smooth as a Cat out of Destiny's Serpentine and was bred by Rachel Leach. Rachel Leach from Springshaw, number 51 on the draw. That was Slivering, owned by Rachel Leach. There's Did leave working area Joe. before time, so will be a zero. So that'll be a total of 204 over the two rounds. 204 over the two rounds. So Slivering was side by Smooth as a Cat at a Destiny Serpentine. So Renee Richardson's going to be next to go. Then we have Lisa Hindmarsh, Willie Tapp, Emma Stockdale and Tony Scandalberry. So five more to go in this herd. I've heard number four. Thank you very much to the Australian Hotel, where it's a range of TVs offering sport, their live music in the beer garden, their family orientated bistro, or you're just stopping by for a cold schooner. There is something suitable for everyone at the Aussie St George. So we get set for Renee Richardson from Roma, Queensland. Number 52 on the draw, short review, owned by Mrs. Renee Richardson. This one side by Winredine, a little shortening out of raving reviews and was bred by Aaron and Lindsay Wheatley. So good luck to Renee here. With Lisa Hindmarsh to be ready after Renee. Then we'll have William Tapp to follow. So five herds in total. We'll see in the non-pro classic today at their cutting fans. Standing here just watching. 
watching you all night and I think I've even caught you watching me a couple times if I don't ask I'll never know this may sound dumb but here we go do you believe in love at first sight me neither I'm glad that we Big relief. Well, this place is awful crowded and this music is so loud. Would you like to go and grab a bite to eat? Me neither. It's nice to finally meet a girl who doesn't move too fast. I was only checking, that's the reason that I asked. Relationships need time to grow. You and I should take this slow. Darling, tell me, would you like to dance? Me neither. I was just being polite, thank goodness. My feet are much too tired, I'm sure you're tired too. I can see an empty booth. Would you like to maybe sit and talk a while? Me neither. We never get along. There's no chemistry at all, this has been a waste of time And I'm running out of lines, don't you think it's time for me to end this song? Me neither Thank you very much there, Renee. That was Renee Richardson from Aroma, Queensland. That was Short Review, owned by Renee Richardson. So that was signed by Winredine, a little shortening out of raving reviews. So we've got four more to show. Lisa Hindmarsh, William Tapp, Emma Stockdale and Tony Scannerberry. I can make you pick a fight with somebody twice your size. been known to cause a few breakups and I've been known to cause a few births well, I can make you new friends so 200 with a review there for Renee 200 with a review which will be a total of unofficially about 400 over the two rounds so we'll move to Lisa Hindmarsh number 53 on the draw nothing sweeter than a duck owned by Lisa Hindmarsh this one signed by Kit Kat Sugar out of See Me Duck and was bred by the Mannerham Downs Propriety Limited. So next one to go. So thank you very much to Sunkiss Quarter Horse Stud. is a breeding facility situated at Burger, Queensland, possessing some of the very well-performed mares by some of the top Australian and the international size. We believe in breeding versatile horses that have been well associated in both the cutting and can draft industries for many years.
buddy. Thank you very much there, Lisa. That was Lisa Hindmarsh right there. Number 53 on the draw, nothing sweeter than a duck, owned by Mrs. Lisa Hindmarsh. So that was signed by Kit Kat Sugar out of See Me Duck. So we've got three more to go. William Tapp, then we have Emma Stockdale, then Tony Scandalberry. So three more to go before we we'll change out the herd once again. So 180 there for Lisa, 180. So that'll be a total of 360 over the two rounds, 360. So we're going to move to the man from Wowen, Queensland, number 54 on the draw, William Tapp with Classy and Hot, owned by William Tapp. This one side by Hotspot out of Classy Ray Girl was bred by William Tapp. She's our third last competitor and herd number four, they're cutting fans. So thank you very much also to Foresight once again. Check out their website at www.foresight.global and also like their social pages on Facebook and also Instagram. All eyes glued on William Tapp right now, number 54 on the draw. So this event brought to us by the Sunkiss Quarter Horse Stud. Thank you to Sunkiss Quarter Horse Stud. Thank you very much, Sir William. That was Willie Tapp from Wowen, Queensland. Number 54 on the draw. That was Classy and Hot, owned by William Tapp. So that was side by Hotspot and a Classy Ray Girl. So we've got two more to show in this herd. Emma Stockdale and Tony Scandalberry and our Sunkiss Quarter Horse Stud sponsored event. And we'll come back for our last herd of this go-round number two. If we can have someone relieve Trudy over in the practice pen, that'll be greatly appreciated. She's got to go look after her son for a little bit, so that'd be greatly appreciated if someone could take that role over. So 
So 180 for that showing. So 390 over the two rounds there for William. So we'll move to Emma Stockdale from Perga, Queensland. Number 55 on the draw. Tell UC owned by Miss Emma Stockdale. This one side by Doc Spin and Tell out of Rock and Missy and was bred by Phil and Loren Gray. Thank you very much, sir, Emma. That was Emma Stockdale from Perga, Queensland, number 55 on the draw, Tell UC, owned by Emma Stockdale. So that was side by Doc, Spin and Tell, out of Rock and Missy. So we've got one more to show in this herd before we we'll change it out. We'll be Tony Scandalberry, so if we have the Demi Patini herd settling team to please be on standby, that'll be greatly appreciated. So 219 there for Emma, 219. So that'll be a total of 436 over the two rounds. So that'll put her in the around the top five right now in the aggregate. So we'll move to Tony Scandalberry, number 56 on the draw. This is a Pepto I would be owned by Tony Scandalberry.
Thank you very much there, Tony. That was Tony Scandalberry. Number 56 on the draw. That was a Pepto I would be. Well, that winds down. Heard number four. So a round of applause for those competitors and heard number four today. So we get that last score on the board there for Tony. If we can have the Demi Patini Heard settling team to please be on standby. That'll be greatly appreciated. So 210 there for Tony, 210. So that'll give him a total of 420 over the two rounds. 420 over the two rounds. So I've got a couple of reviews in there. I'll update you with that, with that information once it comes through. But time to stretch your legs. Go and grab yourself some lunch from our caterers. Or go and check out Casey Saddlery and Maverick.